Listen, I get it. When I remember when I first started off in business, I was like, I don't like selling. I never liked the idea of sales. In fact, I remember being a kid in high school, having to sell stuff for the programs that I was in. And I was just like, I will just pay the money somehow because I'm not about to sell. And here's the thing, that's not the approach that you can take for business, especially if you are going to be selling a high ticket program, like a coaching program. One thing that I had to come to realize though, is that Selling is only bad when you're doing it with the wrong intentions and when you're doing it the wrong way. So I had to develop my sales skills and I'm gonna be sharing some things that really helped me get over the whole idea of selling and really enjoy the conversations that I have with my potential clients and getting them to enroll into my coaching program. So first things first, you need to understand that selling is not really selling, at least if you do it the right way. So selling in my own interpretation is simply providing the opportunity for people to invest in a solution that you have to their problem. That's all selling is. It's not forcing someone to buy. It's not making them feel bad about not buying. It is literally presenting the opportunity for them to invest in a solution that they really want and that they vocalize that they want because they're having the conversation with you. So if you want to kind of get over this idea of not wanting to be a salesperson, don't think of yourself as a salesperson. Literally just think of yourself and your program as a solution to the problem and selling has to happen there has to be a transaction that takes place in order for someone to get that solution and for you to be compensated for the solution that you're providing listen at the end of the day sales honestly runs the economy we are buying every single day we are buying food because that solves the problem that we have and the need that we have for food. We are buying water because it solves the need that we have to drink water. Now, I have opinions about water needing to be available, but nonetheless, you get the idea. We are constantly exchanging money for a solution that we need to our problem. So you as a now marketer and coach within your business have to understand that selling is simply providing a solution to the problem that your ideal clients have and you happen to have that solution and therefore the fair trade is for them to make the investment to get that solution to their problem. Now, within that context though, you have to understand the arts of actually selling. So many of us have had bad experiences with salespeople. I used to work in sourcing way back when, when I was in corporate. And so I had to deal with salespeople from other companies and I've had a bad experience. You've probably had a bad experience as well. Maybe you've gone to buy a vehicle or gone somewhere and you just felt like the salesperson was pushing you. So knowing that these are things that you want to avoid in your sales process. And when you think about selling a high ticket coaching program, you have to understand it is less about you making the sale and more about the person on the other end making the best decision for them. You want to to help them make the best decision for them, right? So you want to provide all of the details and information that they need in order to make an informed decision. So instead of pushing your program on them and saying, hey, you really need to buy this and you should buy this now, you need to provide the information that's going to give them um, what they need to make the best decision for themselves. The idea of having a sales conversation is for them to be able to get the information that they need in order to make the most informed decision is what's going to be the best for them which means you have to detach yourself from the results because the best decision for them doesn't always mean enrolling in your coaching program and you absolutely have to be okay with knowing that not everything is going to be a yes some instances is going to be a no because it's just simply not a fit or it's not a fit at that time so understand that sales is not pushing but providing the opportunity for someone to invest in a solution and creating a conversation in an environment where someone can make the best decision for themselves. Now, obviously, in order to do this effectively, you need to have an understanding of what that conversation needs to look like, what needs to be said, how information needs to present, be presented in order for it to be effective. Now, if you don't have that, that's something that I offer within my own coaching program for my clients. We actually provide sales scripts and sales training to help guide them through the enrollment conversation so that they are able to effectively present their offer to potential clients and let them make the decision of whether or not it's the best fit for them. So if that's something that you know you're missing and you need support with, then I definitely encourage you to click the link in the description of this video to book a call so that we can have a conversation to determine if and how I can help you within your own coaching business.
So again, sales is simply providing an opportunity for someone to invest in the solution that you have. It is not about trying to convince them or force them into a sale. It is literally giving them the opportunity to have their problem solved. So you should really feel good about the fact that you actually have a solution to a problem in the world and that you're able to provide something that people can invest in to get solved. So don't feel bad about providing that opportunity for other people to invest. So know that selling or an exchange is required for that to happen they have to make an exchange to invest in the solution just like you make an exchange when you pay your bills every month or when you go to the store to buy something that you actually need they are doing the same thing so don't feel bad about selling so I want to share some ways that I have been able to improve my sales skills um, within the high ticket space. So first things first, you want to make sure you're actually reading sales information. So I'll provide some links for some books that have been very valuable for me when it comes to learning the psychology of selling and what people are thinking when they're entering into sales conversations. Like I said in the beginning, many people reject being sold to because we've had bad sales experiences where someone has really tried to kind of bully us into to selling so there is a psychology behind it that you need to understand so that you're approaching the conversation correctly so that's the first thing the second thing is I actually studied car salesmen and I know you're probably thinking oh my gosh car salesmen are probably like the worst but they're actually not they have a very special art of understanding your problem and then being able to present the solution that they have based on the problem that you uh, have already voiced so for instance when you go into a car dealership the first thing they're going to ask you is hey what brings you in for a looking for a new car they're trying to understand what your problem is so that they can position their solution which is a car to match your needs so they are saying you are going to say something like hey i'm here because i'm growing my family we need a bigger vehicle and so then they're going to show you the big vehicle like hey this vehicle is going to be great it has a third row so that you know as your family is growing you can also have a third row with additional space it has a lot of trunk room to help you with your kids activities so you know all of the sports equipment can all fit in here so you see how they are able to take your problem and they are able to position their solution based on that problem. So this is one of the things that you have to understand about sales is being able to position your program, position your solution um, to be able to meet the needs and the, the express pain points and issues or desires of your ideal clients. And all of this goes into the sales process. So again, sales shouldn't be scary. It's not about forcing someone to buy anything. It's about having the conversation, understanding sales psychology, understanding the process that people need to go through and being able to properly position your program such that it, your ideal client can view it as a solution to their pains or a means to get to the desires that they want. So hopefully this video was helpful. And again, if you need help and support, mapping out your sales process, understanding, getting support so that you can enroll more clients into your coaching program, I would love to help you. So click the link in the description of this video to book a call to see if and how I can help you in your coaching business. And with that, I want you to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and check out this next video.